Hello and welcome to this tutorial video. Uh, we will be demonstrating how to create an encrypted 3D component in ANSYS's HVSS. Uh, shown here is a mated connector assembly uh, from Samtech. And in this model, we see that we have uh, two bodies made out of an LCP plastic. We have copper footprints for the contacts to sit on. And then we also have some solder joints in here that would bridge the connection between the contacts and the, and the footprint. Um, so the first step that we want to do is uh, we want to make sure we assign all of our materials to the components that exist in this model. So as we can see in our hierarchy, uh, we have solids and we have materials assigned to those solids. Copper for the for the um, the solder, we have copper for our contacts, and then we have a generic LCP plastic for the uh, the body assemblies. Um, so one one of the next things we want to do is prepare these components um, to be encrypted. Uh, so one thing I like to do is make sure to get rid of these locating pins that are on the uh, PCB side of the assembly, and this is on both sides of the bodies. The reason we want to do that is um, no encrypted parts are allowed to interact or intersect with objects that are visible. Um, if they do, the validation tool will flag an error and your model will not run. So we take some uh, some preparatory steps um, in order to nearly guarantee that that is not going to occur. Um, so we're going to take a relative coordinate system and place it on the edge of this body here. And we will just split this assembly to get rid of the locating pins. And we will also do this for this body here. Okay, now that that's done, uh, the next step we want to do is uh, I like to create a object that's going to represent the pin one indicator. So pin one indicators are these little triangles here. Um, each body has one. I don't necessarily make one for each body, but I will make one out of this triangle right here. And you can do that by just selecting that face, right clicking and going to edit surface and you can create object from face and that'll create a new object for you that is that exact size and then from here you can right click go to edit surface we can thicken that sheet out so let's thicken that sheet from instead of like infinitely thin let's make that 0.1 millimeters okay and now that we have that object Let's make it so it's easy to see by turning it red. And then we're going to move it to the front of the assembly here so that it's not being covered by anything. We're just going to move it outward on the Z axis. OK, so there's our pin one indicator. And finally, what I will do is I will make sure that this is not a mo an object that is in the model. And you can do that in the properties window. There is this uh, feature called model with a checkbox. If we uncheck that, it makes it a non-model object. Uh, what this does is basically that whenever you solve the model, it's not gonna have to use any mesh in order to recreate that, that item. Um, it's non-model, it's there for visual purposes only, so we don't need to mesh it. Okay, the next step is I like to make what's called uh, dummy bodies. And these are also non-metal objects that are going to represent a simplified form of these connector bodies. So we're going to go ahead and just recreate these bodies. So this will represent the top one here. And we'll say uh, dummy body and that's going to be the female side of the assembly. Uh, we will give that a distinct color and then make it a non-model object. And then we will also do the same thing for the other side. 
take this side, make our object, give it a distinct color, make it non-model. Okay. So that is roughly the preparation you need to do before we get to the encryption part of the phase here. Um, to encrypt this model, we need to highlight everything that we want to encrypt. Right click, go to create 3D component. And it's gonna bring up this, um, this window with a bunch of different tabs on it. Uh, we want encryption and we want to encrypt file and it's going to force you to add a password to this encryption so come up with a password that you're going to remember or something that is okay to pass on to a customer and we are just going to put in a generic one here um, and then we want to make sure all of our other options here are, sh are set up uh, we want to replace the object and material names what that basically does is it suppresses those so we're not releasing any information um, to people who we may not want to, to have that information. And this one right here is important because uh, we want the encrypted uh, area to be represented by a bounding box. And basically what this is going to do is it's going to make a gray box that is the outermost dimensions of every component that's in the model. We'll see this a little bit later. Okay, uh, once we have this set up, we can go to hide show objects and those non-model objects we made, we are going to make those um, not hidden. We're going to let those be shown. And what this does is it gives the customer who pulls this model into their, their space some visual reference as to what they're looking at instead of just an empty box. Um, one of the other things I like to do, well, we're going to back out of this because I did not do something that I, I meant to do. So we're going to cancel out of this for now and talk about what we have here. Okay. So this is a solder charge. It's just the size of our recommended footprint. Um, this recommended footprint, depending on customer application is going to change thickness. So we don't want to include these in our encrypted model. What we want to do is just include the solder so that the customer will have a reference of where they should be placing their component on their uh, uh, 3D model of their PCB assembly. So let's go ahead and just get rid of these, um, these pads here. We'll just delete all of them, or we can just hide them if you want to. We can. We can just hide them. As long as we don't select them, they will not be encrypted. So make sure to hide everything that we don't want to encrypt. Do a little double check. Okay. Highlight everything again. We will go to create 3D component. And a lot of this stuff's going to be filled in exactly as you left it.